Yo, what is up guys? Stale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. I've got to be honest, over the last few weeks and months during lockdown, I've missed real boxing. I've missed real boxing talk. I'm sick and tired of hearing about conspiracy theories. I'm sick and tired of hearing about drugs in boxing. I'm sick and tired of hearing about politics. I'm sick and tired of hearing from promoter fanboys and all of that nonsense. So why not talk about some real boxing? You know, talk about a fight that's actually taking place. This is my preview and prediction for Martin Bacole versus Sergei Kuzmin. Now this fight goes down on August the 22nd and it is on the undercard of Dillian White versus Alexander Povetkin. And I've got to say, as I've already made clear, I really like this fight. I think this fight has the potential to be a bit of a barn burner, a fan-friendly fight, and I fully expect it to be exciting. And, you know, given where both guys are at in their careers, I think this is a low-key, a crossroads fight, to be honest. I'm really looking forward to this fight. I really am. So, um, let's get into it. We shall start with the tale of the tape. Martin Bacole has a record of 15 wins, 1 defeat, 0 draws. 12 of those 15 wins coming by way of knockout. He is listed as 6 foot 3. At least that's what I can find on a less than reputable website. And I can't actually find his reach anywhere, but he does appear to have quite long arms. As for his age, God only knows. I think you've got a better chance of finding a blonde with big tits who don't answer back rather than finding Martin Bacole's age. So we'll leave that there. Sergei Kuzmin, his record is 15 wins, 1 defeat, 0 draws. 11 of those 15 wins coming by way of knockout. Sergei Kuzmin is listed as 6 foot 4 with a 75 and a half inch reach. So according to the stats I found, Sergei Kuzmin is an inch taller. But Martin Bacole, from what I can tell without seeing the measurements, appears to have longer arms, you know, a greater reach. And, um... Sergei Kuzmin is 33 years old. Now, interestingly enough, both guys have identical records. Both guys are 15-1. and one. And also, interestingly enough, both guys' sole defeat comes by the hands of Michael Hunter. So these guys actually have a fair bit in common. Now, despite both guys having equal records, Sergei Kuzmin is more experienced. Sergei Kuzmin was a fairly decorated amateur in Russia. And also, he fought in the World Series of Boxing which is very near pro boxing anyway. So despite having a an identical record, Kuzmin does have more experience in the amateurs. Maybe that could be a factor in this fight. From what I can see, Martin Bacole didn't really have much of an amateur background or nothing to really speak about anyway. Um, stylistically, I think this fight is very interesting. Both guys naturally are aggressive. Now, they are aggressive in different ways, but ultimately both guys are aggressive. Martin Bacole is a guy who really likes to mix up his offense. He's a heavyweight who throws a lot of punches. He varies his shots from body to head. He can throw up close. He can throw from long range. He's got a really nice punch variety. Nice combinations. Fairly respectable hand speed for a heavyweight. He's got good power. And also he's got the ability to drown you in a sea of punches. Whereas Sergei Kuzmin is a lot more measured than Bacole. He doesn't throw the same volume of punches. He's more of a guy who will try and find you with one big shot. What he'll do is he'll kind of come forwards. He'll try and walk you down. He'll tuck in low, shoulders tucked in, nice tight guard. And he'll try and walk you down behind a ramrod jab. And he'll come over the top with a hard right hand or a left hook. Or he'll try and counter you uh, in between your punches. Kuzmin is more of a type of guy who'll try and catch you with one perfect shot. Whether it's a counter punch or something he sets up off that jab, you know? And it's interesting to see whose style prevails in this fight. Now, one factor in this fight that I think will be important is durability and toughness. Who is the more durable, tough guy out of the two? I've got to say, if I had to fathom a guess, I would say Sergei Kuzmin. Let's go back and look at their sole defeats to Michael Hunter. Both guys got soundly beaten. Kuzmin got thoroughly outboxed, and he also got dropped and Martin Bacole got stopped in the last round. Now, Bacole never got dropped, but he did get stopped on his feet, and in my opinion, he was hurt a couple of times in that fight. I don't think Sergei Kuzmin was ever really hurt against Michael Hunter. I think the knockdown was more 
one of those instances of like a balance issue. Not even a balance issue, just a good shot that put him down, but he wasn't really hurt. And if you compare the two fights, I felt Kuzmin showed a lot more heart, to be honest, and he really wasn't looking for a way out. He was always trying to land that one big shot. He was out of ideas, yes, but I don't think he was looking for a way out. Whereas Martin Bacole, he was looking for a way out in that fight. He was talking about an injury, and in several rounds of that fight, he was being bothered by what Michael Hunter was doing, and it was obvious to see. And in my opinion, he was looking rather sorry for himself. And going into a fight that could be a bit of a um, war of attrition, that could be a problem, you know? Maybe that Hunter fight for Bacole was a one-off. Maybe he truly did have an injury. That is a possibility. But also, you have to consider, does Martin Bacole lack in that department? I can't say I'm sure, but what I will say, when I saw him in adversity for the first time, I felt he kind of folded. Again, Kuzmin lost, he lost clearly, he got outboxed, but I don't think he ever mentally gave up, you know? And I think that is something to consider going into this fight. Neither guy is particularly hard to find. Both guys' defence isn't really the best. I think both guys are going to be feeling each other's power in this fight. It's all really down to who can impose themselves on the other fighter. I think that's the interesting point in this fight. Will Martin Bacole's punch variety and volume get the better of Kuzmin, or will Kuzmin's more methodical approach get the better of Bacole? It's interesting. I see flaws in both fighters in which I feel both fighters can capitalise on. For example, Sergei Kuzmin. Like I said, Kuzmin is a very front foot heavy fighter. He's one of those guys who don't really take his head off centre line. And when he throws that right hand, he kind of overshoots sometimes. A lot of the time you'll see him throw that right hand and his head will go beyond his front foot, his lead foot. And if I'm Martin Bacole, if I'm Billy Nelson, I'm going to be looking at that flaw in particular. You know, I'd want to try and set up that uppercut, which Martin Bacole can throw very effectively. Bacole's got a very good uppercut. Maybe in this fight, Bacole should actually be the counterpuncher. You know, try and sort of touch him up with a jab, try and draw his lead, wait for Kuzmin to come in with that right hand, half a step back, bang, uppercut. I think Kuzmin is open for it. And that uppercut from Bacole is a mean punch. And I would really try to take advantage of it in this fight. I think it's there for him, to be honest. If I'm Billy Nelson, his trainer, that's what I'd be looking at, to be honest. I'd be looking at getting Bacole into that counter-punching role, be active with the jab, and look for those openings. Try not to get involved too much. Try not to make this a war of attrition. That's, that's the route I'd be going down if I was training Martin Bacole. As for Sergei Kuzmin, I think he's the one who needs to make this a rough, tough fight, because ultimately... I think he copes better in that scenario in comparison to Bacole. Kuzmin actually, I didn't mention earlier, he can actually throw to the body fairly effectively. In particular, that left hook to the body, a pretty nice shot. I'll be trying to walk Bacole down, rough him up, work that body, make it just a rough, tough, gruelling fight, and basically try to take him back to that Michael Hunter experience. Try and um, strike doubt into the mind of Martin Bacole, try and take him back to that horrible place he was at with Michael Hunter. And if you saw that Michael Hunter fight, you saw the flaws behind Bacole slowly start to unravel. You know, he lost his shape, he lost all forms of defence, and if that happens against Kuzmin, Kuzmin certainly has the quality to capitalise. Kuzmin is an adept counterpuncher, and um, I think that's something he should look at in the second half of this fight. First four, five, six rounds, really put the pressure on, make it a hard, rough fight, land some damage, work that body... When Bacole starts to lose his shape, that's when you start to try and pick those precise shots to finish this one. You know, I really like this fight. I can see it going either way. I could see a knockout for both fighters. I could see both fighters winning on points. Um, the bookies' odds are indicating that Bacole is the favourite. And from what I've seen online, most people are picking Bacole. And I can certainly see why. But I've got to be honest... I'm I'm really unsure on this one. I'm really unsure. When I'm unsure, I don't sit on the fence. I'll still make a pick. And with this one, I'm going to go with my gut. And my gut says upset. My gut says upset in this fight. I've got a funny feeling. I've got a really funny feeling Sergei Kuzmin wins this fight. I really do. And I think it could be by a late knockout. For some reason, I, I, I see Sergei Kuzmin by late knockout... 
I think fundamentally, he is the more sound fighter. Maybe he doesn't have the upside that Bakole does. Maybe he doesn't have like the natural talent of throwing combinations and um, and things like that. But you know, like the ABCs of boxing, the basic fundamentals. I think Kuzmin is a little better, and I th I, and I certainly think he's the tougher man here. And in the type of fight that I anticipate this being, I think that's what's going to win him the fight. I'm going to go with the upset here. I'm picking Sergey Kuzmin to win the fight, more than likely by late knockout. Now, I'm not one of these people who pick upsets for the sake of it, to be honest. If I don't think there's going to be an upset, I won't pick it. But in this one, you know, I, I think there's a really good possibility. I really do. I'm certainly betting on this fight because I think the odds on Kuzmin are looking pretty good right now. Um, but yeah, tremendous fight. Really, really good fight. I'll be honest, I shouldn't really be making this prediction video now. I should be waiting, you know, till nearer the time. But um, like I said, I'm just sick of talking about politics. I'm sick, I'm sick of hearing about it. I want some real boxing talk. And to me, sort of predictions and things like that, that's the best type of boxing talk in my opinion. Talking about actual good fights, right? That's what it's all about as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, share your thoughts below. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Share your predictions. Do you agree? Do you disagree with my opinion? Peace.